she's not really that bad, but that's what I was kind of uh, imagining when I when I got to the uh, livery yard where I had to go and work work that horse and help that horse and owner. Um, and even when I when I pulled up, quite a few people came over and said, "Oh, are you here are you here to have a look at?" Um, I can't remember the horse's name now, but. Uh, uh, they said, are you here for that horse? And um, oh, yeah, that horse, that, that coloured horse. Um, oh, you know, you've got your work cut out. Oh, good luck. And all that sort of things. I was thinking, oh no, what, what's what? And then when the owner and her mum came over, they said, oh, oh, you're gonna, you know, oh, you know. Um, so, you know, that's what I was thinking. I thought that was a good, good little bit of music to, to start things off. But yeah, this, this is a horse I went to uh, quite a few weeks ago. And it was sort of um, content we've got sort of stored away. And I kept promising that I'd be doing that one. Uh, and it was the same day I did a little a little um, nine handle wild pony. It's the same day. And um, so there, it's absolutely pouring the rain down. I hadn't planned to do this today. I was going to do it next week. But it's pouring rain. rain. I've sorted the horses out. And it's a little opportunity. I've just come and I thought, right, I'll finish this one off. And I've just looked through the footage. Do you know what? It's one of the best, it's, it's a fantastic video. I didn't think it would be as good, but there's so much learning in it. So much back when I was searching for, for ways with horses that I would have loved this video. There are lots of little moments in it. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start the video now, I think. So we're here again, uh, Lamprey Liveries. Um, I don't know if anybody's seen the last, uh, the videos of a horse called Luna. Well, Luna was a rescue mare that um, was very difficult, couldn't be bridled, and um, it was an extreme case, really. But uh, I've got on my site, it might be interesting for some people to see Luna again. Um, the um, On my site, I've only got, in the videos, I've only got the recap of it, which was a, like a run-up uh, 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 after... Oh, I can share meeting. it again to your... Uh, yeah, or, or you can just scroll down on uh, the site and, and come to it. So we're here again today for um, a very, very bad leading horse, I think. It's 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 16 to a coloured, um, and it's quite extreme, apparently. So we're, I haven't met it yet, so we'll see you in a minute. Danny Anderson, you've got to What did you do last night, 2 o'clock? You was, not you fed up with me yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I've got a proper top fan then. <laughs> uh, how you doing? You alright? Are we supposed to? Uh, we're just about doing it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to cut and move my my nicks. It's Nick. 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 Is it? Yeah. Nick. That's that's the name. Yeah. So, uh, have you had this horse long? What, what? No. In fact, you follow her in. You follow when I time. came for Luna, then. Yeah. Okay. No, when you dropped Luna back. All oh, right. After she, Luna had come to mine. Yeah. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so, you, so that, that that's when Nix was being delivered to you yeah. on that day, yeah. and things have perfectly fine. Uh, we're going to see her. She didn't have no. Right, so right. no problem. Yeah. multi-purpose really to all enjoy yeah. and get our money's worth out of them that's what um so when she, came off, she yeah. came off her the uh we walked her up there yes and then she started so it, it started pretty much straight away yeah so well, we thought it's because it's a new environment yes yeah well usually you've got to give them a, a bit of a chance you know so over those couple of weeks she was okay a bit fidgety but nothing we weren't concerned thinking she's just kind of yeah so are you try sort of I'm getting a feel she's never settled. She's never settled here. Uh, all she wants to do is desperately go to the field. And we've only just right. there's a, there's a, there's a Where field. is she now? She's in the stable, so I want you to see how you she brought, is. You brought when her she in. comes. She's been in all night. Right, so, so she will want to go out. She will she will take I think off. we need to see see her with you to is get a re right? yeah. 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 
to get a real feel of what she's like. Two of you to lead, yeah. So, like a lot of the horses I go to, not all, but a lot of them have got backstories to them. Um, and um, this particular horse, lovely horse, was a present really um, for the owner to herself. She'd gone through quite a rough time. Um, I won't go into what that was, but she'd gone through a rough time, had her struggles, had her heartaches, and bought bought this horse. Um, with good intentions of, of getting her mind off certain things and enjoying the horse as well as other people riding it for her. So, you know, I totally can understand. And she went to view the horse and things weren't too bad on the viewing, you know. Um, and things right from the off, from the minute it was delivered really and started leaning up the field, things went pear-shaped. She's done her absolute best to, to make it work, the best of her knowledge, the best she can do. She's had a lot of help from people as well, so goodness knows what would have happened without help. Um, and virtually, I think someone broke a finger with, with the horse and almost got hurt several times. Things were really snowballing badly. So I don't know what the expectations was of what I could do in a session. I don't think they were very high. I, I you know, I, I had a good idea. I would definitely make a difference, but again, with what I was hearing, and feeling, I thought, well, I really am gonna have my work cut out today. Tell sometimes they have to come to mind. I don't really like horses come to mind. Kind of upsets our little herd now. Um, but sometimes I have to, and that's it. I've got a spare stable built. So, so sometimes I have to. And I was already thinking, oh, I think, I think she's gonna have to come to me this one. You know, someone you know can't make such a change. But uh, yeah, I, you, I'll, I'll switch it on now when things start to sort of reveal themselves. Um, and uh, here we go. Barge me out, out of there. So you have improved really on some things then? Well, it took me five weeks. So she would try and get out of there usually? Oh, yeah. She used to barge me through, yeah. Really? So did you not get back in touch or? Well, we thought first of all. Yeah, give, um, give her a chance, yeah, yeah, yeah. Since then I have got back with him and he basically said so to see. So at this point, I'm starting to feel that things, um, I'm just feeling things aren't good. I can feeling, a feeling from the owner there that she's really tried, but kind of at the end of a tether with all that's going on. And now this, it's, it's a pity in a way, and it, hopefully it won't end up that way, but it's a pity at the, right at the beginning, if things were, you know, when things weren't good from the beginning, maybe there should have been a phone call then. So it depends how you look at it and, and, and very much, I think, soul to seen goes on the advertising. I don't know what the adverts were or anything. But I think soul to seen, I think there's more to it these days than that. I, I know there's lawyers now that are involved just in uh, equines for not just buying off trade, buying off private. So things have, have come along a little bit. So I don't know. Maybe in hindsight, there should have been a phone call right from the off. Things are not working out. But it, you, you can't blame. She has at least tried to uh, let the horse settle in and go with it, hoping it would all settle down. It, it, it hasn't. Uh, so yeah, it's an interesting one, this Solderstein thing. I think maybe she may have been able to look at, look at something there, but that's not my, that's not my expertise, but uh, it's a shame really. Um, settled reasonably well in the stables. We moved her stable. She came here originally when she first uh, her into first this night. block. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she she's fine in here, but because of my interpretation, because of my glasses, right, they get dark when it's sunny and light. Yes. I couldn't see in here. Right. Okay. So yeah. it wasn't her fault. See now she's normally bolting through the door. Um, she would be normally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I've turned off. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Four pound fifty. She's yeah, sure. <laughs> well, I think we should do it before before you do uh, anything, Dad. What's that? The four pound fifty. I yeah. think it's worth the risk. Um, okay. So we moved her to an outside stable. Yeah. And she went mental. She didn't like the outdoor one. No. Okay. Uh, she felt more comfortable in here. Yes. So we, okay. I left her for two hours. By the time we got back, she was sweated up. Really. Um, 
really, okay. really bad. And that's when we took her out and she basically just took off. Well, first of all, I, you know, I come and do, you know, I, I think you've done well adjusting yeah. to fit her the best you can, haven't you? Yeah. Like you, that, some people would continue with that or whatever. Yeah. So you've tried to work it with yeah. her. Your best you can, and so got, that's good. And there's some lovely people here that have helped me immensely. Really? Um, okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, I'm going to watch what's going on. I've got to watch what's going on properly first, right? Mm -hmm. No one helping you. Nope. Just you leading the horse out mm -hmm. to where roughly it'll be. We won't let, let him go up there, yeah? We won't let him go. We'll, we'll bring him back. Maybe we don't have a choice. Well, we'll see. Okay, we'll, see. We we'll do whatever needs to do, but I need to see it. And then uh, we need to bring them back then to outside the, school? Yeah, the, no, indoor school. Uh, sorry, indoor school. Yeah, yeah, indoor school will be better because of the wind and whatever. And then I'm going to do some groundwork then, see what I think. All right, that's what, that's what we're doing. Listen, right, totally agree. Not every horse is for every owner. Yeah. Um, and I've had to tell a lot of people. Yeah. And I've been to a lot of clinics where my my people I've trained with have told people. Yeah. Now, with that comment, I could feel it from her. She was right at the end of her tether with this horse. So much emotion had gone. I mean, she told me privately that the upset, she was all out of tears, really. So you can imagine the trauma, really, she's going through with this new horse after what things that had happened. I was already thinking about what I might have to tell her. Some people, they they ask me to come for advice and I'll give it the advice. A lot of the time, it isn't the advice you want to hear. And I give advice and how the advice is taken is totally up to whoever I'll give it to. I'll just give my honest opinion and it can be very upsetting sometimes. Now I'm already thinking at this point, this, this isn't probably going to work, but I'm gonna go with it. Now, there's something that gives me strength to be able to tell people the things I sometimes do. Um, and I know I, I've told a lot of people that it's not working out. You need to, to replace the horse or other decisions that I've had to ask people to do or give them my advice to do. Um, but I'll tell you very quickly about uh, some years ago, I went to a, a, a clinic in, in America. It was in Georgia uh, and it was Buck Brennan. Uh, he's one of the best horsemen I've, I've ever learned from. Um, and this is, this is a film, it's, it's a documentary film. It's called Buck the Movie. Um, we've got this for our, for our little bar so we can play it for people when, when we're in there. It's such a great movie. And you know, I always say to people, watch this twice. And if you really like what you're seeing, which most people do, whether you're English or Western riding, it doesn't matter, it's all horsemanship. The saddles are just costume. They're just costume. If you like it, then you can move on to seeing other stuff. I do things very similar to Buck. Obviously nowhere near as uh, as good as he. He's amazing with horses. Um, so I'll tell you very, very briefly, I was at a clinic there, and obviously his clinics are always full, but there was one particular uh, lady there, uh, a very wealthy lady uh, came with a beautiful horse. Oh, it was a beautiful horse. And I mean, there was thousands and thousands of dollars. You could see it in, in uh, this lady's beautiful attire and the way she was, she was dressed as a vaquero, which is that sort of horsemanship. Um, everything was perfect, she got lots of handlers with her. I mean, the, the, the gooseneck was just amazing what she came in. I mean, real, the rig, the, the horse, everything, uh, the look, it was all just amazing. So this lady's there, and I think it was the second day, it was quite, I think it's five day, day long clinic, the second day, um, Things were really going, were really going pear shaped. Well, they obviously were pear shaped. I mean, I noticed in the first hour of the first day, things that, that that's not looking good at all. And Buck, um, it, they got to the riding side because they've done a lot of groundwork, a lot of theory and things and chats on day one, day two. They're 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 up on the horsemanship class, and and things are very dangerous. This horse, this horse is, it's not only upsetting other people, it's it, you can see it's dangerous, um, and. Buck stopped the clinic. He stopped the clinic and asked her to step down, which somehow she got down. And, uh, and Buck, just in front of everybody, he just explained to that lady, I'm about to save your life. And um, the lady just 
came out with, but I've just spent $20,000 on the training of him. But she spent $20,000 with, with a trainer. And his words were, go back and get your money back because this isn't working. I am telling you now, he said, if you, you, you need to never step back up on that horse. You're gonna get killed. You both don't need each other. You both run. And he explained to her, well, you can imagine this, this lady, I mean, I felt so sorry for her, but it needed to be said. I mean, she as good as collapsed and had to be helped out of the arena. I took the horse out. Um, and it was deadly silent, the atmosphere, and Buck, Buck hated doing it. But he said he probably just saved, saved her bacon. And everyone agreed, you know, everyone could see it. And it takes a lot for someone to say that to somebody. Uh, and that's what, what I do sometimes. I have to explain what I think. I know they take that, that, that um, advice, it's up to them. But I was always re already thinking here, this is not good, this is not good. But, but we'll see how we get on. Um, it isn't as bad as, uh, as that. Told me with my last one. Yeah, yeah. sometimes yeah. it's getting someone like me to say it to you yeah. that, you know, you could get hurt. I mean, that is not a small horse. No. Right? If, if your space isn't everything to that horse, you could get rid of her. Yeah. I've seen that. Okay? Uh, yeah, you take yeah. her out then and I'll, I'll go out there and I'll just see. About to, we felt uh, film go, going up the track and whatever. And as we get out of the stable, um, it was immediately noticeable. I sort of looked around to smile at people, and they were all going, "Oh, what's coming out now?" And you could, and they were all sort of doing it. Oh, you know. So everyone knew when when they that horse was going out to be let out. So a lot of people for I think it was four or five weeks the horse had been there. Everyone knew when the horse was coming in or out and to sort of avoid things really. So I was like, oh, here we go. So this is kind of what happens next. Is she going to come back to oh, no, 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 that's fine. Take the indoor arena now. Was that what you were trying to do? Do you want to take a dad? Um. No. Woo. And at this point, things started to get really dangerous, and it happened really quickly, like a switch. And in all fairness, we haven't got some of the footage because Charlotte nearly got landed on. Um, she didn't fall over, but could have been seriously hurt. So we haven't got some of the the footage. It would have been quite dramatic to be on here, but I, you know that's life. Uh, so what you're about to see here, things snowball a little bit, we haven't got that, and then Charlotte actually shouted at me a little bit and said, Dad, will you get hold of the horse, please? You know, which I was about to do anyway, but she sort of made me sort of, I, you know, I really wanted to see where things were going, but things had gone far enough. So I really didn't want to do anything with that horse until, you know, I put my equipment on, which I prefer my halters and things. But I had to. So you see now pretty much immediately what I have to do. Now bearing in mind there's horse pretty much out of control there. And when it actually shook its head, um, which it had done just before that, which we haven't got on film, it stamped, it sort of struck out of it with its front leg, which is very, very dangerous. I mean, that could kill you. Uh, so I get I, I firm up in the moment. I had to do something. Great for you to watch. I, I used to learn more by watching really what goes on at these clinics. Um, which you don't see on DVD, you don't usually see, you know, but um, I have to do something to make a big change very quickly. I wouldn't have even got it in there. Um, bearing in mind that usually there's two or three people who have to lead the horse and that's quite a dramatic thing each day. So yeah, you'll see what I do in the moment, there and then. Get 
stop it. Okay. Do you want me to get her there? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to put my stuff down. Yeah? Now I've got the got the lead rope there. Um, I'm 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 b bumping down on that lead rope. Now what I'd noticed, you wouldn't have noticed this. I don't think you would have, but I'd noticed earlier with what I'd been watching that that horse she'd got a habit of turning her ears, her ears going, her head going. But as her head goes and her ears, her feet follow. So she's got no sort of flex where she could flex and look at something. It was kind of and her feet was following. So what I needed to do straight away was make her attention on me. And that's what that bumping is to immediately say to her, no, you don't consider other things. You just get peace off me. You gotta consider me now. Bump up, if she looks away, bump, 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 and then I quit. So that will tell you what's going on there immediately. Then you'll see what I mean about her following with her feet in a second now. She, she sort of searched with me a bit, looked at me a bit, said, oh, you, you know, and then her ears went, her head went, and her feet follow. So I had to do something pretty dramatic there and then to say that not on my watch, that ain't happening. So you'll see that now. Really good stuff to see, you know, because these things happen all the time. to think about what just took place there because that's very extreme really so I've had to firm up I was about to tell you <laughs> that I might have to firm up a little bit you can uh, see, darling. no well you've just seen it but that can be quite a shock to some people because now I'm gonna back him off here a bit back him off me a little bit there Uh, well, we'll talk about that in a minute, okay. but I've just got to... Right, he has no idea whether I'm going to kill him at the moment, or she. Has no idea that I'm not going to kill her, because I've just done all of that. She's... So I'm going to just calm down with her now a little bit. Let her realise my, I'm not aggressive, because I had to be quite firm then. Yeah. To, it shocked her a little bit, that did. Yeah. So now we need to know, she needs to know that I... That I'm, now that was an unrequested forward motion. Her biggest problem is that unrequested forward motion yeah. because she's blasting through you. Yeah. Okay. And then when you try to stop the unrequested, she's rearing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's now, not just a hoppy rear. It was. No, that's a nasty rear. That could that could that could really hurt. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do. So I'm going to just leave her for five minutes now, just to calm things down. Then I'm going to do some groundwork. Okay. And see where I can get with her. My plan would be, and I will have to firm up a little bit with her, yeah. okay? Yeah. But it'll be, in an, you know, I can't hurt her. She's too big for me to hurt, but she could hurt me. So I'm going to do some groundwork with her, and then my plan is to lead her out, <laughs> right? Okay. Probably ten times to see where I can get, okay. okay? Now, if I feel like, you notice her head dropping here? Yeah. Okay. That's what I was waiting for. A little bit of a now that was again it was it was a nice a nicer unrequested forward motion right it was a nicer one but it's still unrequested forward motion this is what's going to stop in her head to go forward Are you okay just another just another broken finger <laughs> horses uh, uh but anyway uh so my plan is if i can get somewhere with that, so that things are definitely a major improvement, yeah. then we can talk about maybe 
More. Well, it was Sherry. Sally. I keep calling you Sherry. No, Sally. Sherry. It's Sherry um, and Fran who basically saved my day. Yeah, well, I can see that. I mean, by literally, because yeah. she just bolted. Yeah. Okay. So it's like getting gone well yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've asked him to be present today. That's all Yeah, that's right. okay. It's only 35 paddy. I'm paying you enough for later, because you're going to mine after. <laughs> Uh, that's if I'm still standing. Well, I know, she's a beef though, isn't she? Uh, yeah. No. Um, do you know, can I ask you, do you know where this came from? No. Uh, well, um, as far as I was concerned, it's been broken, but I don't know anything Yeah, it's, it's a sign. Um, maybe she's been tied somewhere uh, and she's gone to go. Yeah. And it's a solid tie and it can, the halter can really, really, if it's, if it's set at the wrong place, it's supposed to be up more than that. If a halter set where the gristle is there, yeah. and a horse goes and it's solid, it can you know, break the gristle there. Okay. It just looks like something I hadn't even, like that. I hadn't there. even noticed that. Yeah, look. You can see it. So are you seeing a slight change now? Okay. Now again, while I'm, although you might not think anything's happening at the moment, while I'm talking to you, every time she's experimenting to go forward, I'm, I'm correcting it. That's the first thing that has to be with this horse is a correction on unrequested because you've just got it all out there. She's yeah. just blasting through you. So, um, so that's that. Now I'm going to change the. My, I'm going to put my halter on. Yeah. With your red one, uh, do you think? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, now, what it's looking like to me at this minute is that she's actually praying out for, for you know, like a, like more leadership. Yeah. Now, that's her. I mean, you could probably have 10 other horses yeah. and get on absolutely fine. She's yeah. one that maybe needs a little bit more. Mm. Um, that's what it's looking like at the moment because she's settled real quick here. You yeah. know what I mean? And I'm not promising you that you might be able to come up to the plate with this. Yeah. Uh, but we'll try. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And I wanna, he I won't wanna be going to tell you if he doesn't think that she's That's right. What I want. That's yeah. What I want. If I'm carrying on, I don't want you to think, wow, look at what he's done. All he's sorted. No. I want to say that now because I feel like there's a little more going on here. Yeah. Does that make sense, girls? I, I, she I don't, she I comes don't, across to me like she. She's, she needs to be told who's in charge. Told, but not with pain. No. But, I mean, but she drives some, me. You know, maybe, all I'm saying is, don't get thinking, just because I'm going to make this horse look wonderful yeah. in a minute, that it's done. Yeah. I'm telling you now, it might There's not be. selling video, though. <laughs> she looks wonderful. Right. So well, now, what I'm going to do, together, she be she's let me like put that on. If she, I was waiting for her to maybe lean in here a bit, and then I would have done something about it. She hasn't. You with me? I was expecting a bit of this, but... So now I'm going to lower her head to show her that even though I've just firmed up big time out there, we're going to show her some relaxation with me. You'll probably see a change in her eye in a minute. Um, I won't tell you exactly what I'm doing here to get her, get her head down. This is on some of the videos, but I'm, I'm concentrating on it. Because there's no respect for you up there. There's no respect for human space. One big spook, worse than that. Yeah, it really hurt. This is the, well, this is she, the worry. She, yeah, I mean, she's, she's quite a big horsey. So, I'm not, right, now let me get her head down. I just wanted to feel good around me before I start this groundwork. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna have to do good this groundwork. She's not, not used to giving like some horses. A lot of horses would have gave before then. Um, but if I can get her to where she can drop her head a little bit, she'll start to feel better in my presence and not be so wary of me. Um, oh, that's mm. one. Okay. Shown her, is that you, you understand that? I've shown her that there can be some, some peacefulness with me as we, after the storm. So now, we're keeping pretty now because of the rearing, 
uh, that's been going on. It's been like serial stuff. This is it's, she goes up. Um, I mean, we witness that ourselves, but this has been going on. It's usually a sign that they're locked up around people. They're they're locked up for for going back. Uh, and I've found a lot of even even problems in the saddle riding when there's rearers. And there's all sorts of way of helping that. You can't help every horse with that. In fact, next week I've got um, I've got to go and help someone with a rearing horse. Um, so I'm meeting them at the arena where the main problem is, where they do the jump in there, and this horse is rearing and getting really dangerous. So, but I'll be doing a lot of hindquarter work with it, disengaging hindquarters lows from the saddle and lots and lots of rain back because I find it really helps a lot of horses that are rearers if they've got a free flowing rain back, uh, whether it be on the, or you start on the ground anyway. In diagonals, they have to be diagonals, not stepping back like that, good diagonal flow. Uh, so rather than rear, which a blocked up tight horse that's a bit lost, they lock up and they go up. So that's been happening. So you'll see me doing loads and loads and loads of backing up with this horse and I keep bumping till I get a freeing up of the feet. And that's definitely gonna, because I was asked so many times by so many people there, why, why the horse isn't rearing, they couldn't work it out. Because I'm trying to free the feet up. Okay, good, good to see. I'm gonna back her up now. And when she moves her feet back, quick for me, then I release. Right, so, as soon as she, she backed up, stop. Thank you. Now, I'm gonna get her hind quarters going. I'm going to wait here till she properly disunites. Dis dis there. How old is she? Nine. Oh. You'd think she was about three, wouldn't you? Mm. That's what I thought when I met her, I thought she was young. Now there was a, a real opportunity coming here. She started to get really upset at the top in the arena, um, whether it was just on the day or what was going on, because she'd been up the top before. But I did hear some weird noises up there. There was some weird clicking going on as well. You'll probably hear that. But good opportunity this is for me, because I knew she was getting up. And if I could offset that and get control of her feet and get her calm after that, will make a big change, like a bit of a breakdown. Comes a breakthrough. I keep saying it on loads of videos. And it's true, I mean, it, I did a trailer loading, two trailer loadings yesterday, two trailer loadings, both difficult, one had been 12 years. Um, and I had, broke, I had breakdowns with both of them. They didn't go um, as smoothly as you would hope, but from the breakdowns come the breakthroughs, so it's actually better, it works out better in the end. So yeah, there's a bit of a breakdown coming in here and I just, I welcomed it and got, got control, so. Yeah, she does seem scared, doesn't she? She's a lovely colour, isn't she? She's a beautiful horse. Mm. But I just think she's too much for me. Uh, she's pretty much demanding. Like most that I stay this side. Are you, are you noticing that yeah. at all? Yeah. Like everywhere I'm leaving now. <sighs> Look where she's going. Yeah. You with me? We have um, we have both walked either side with her, haven't we? We've had her on double rate length, length, um, needing ropes to take her to the field, and she's fine with that 
normally. The other side? Yeah, both sides. We have, both we've, sides. We've quite often done that with her. <laughs> but that's no life, is it, to think that every time you go to the field you need two Stop people. So if you watch it now, if I, if I, if I, if I disengage her, in that eye, see? Uh, but that's a lot of them do, because we do so much there, that, that, that side. It's going to be a bit boring for you to watch, but I'm going to continue with this, to get her control of her hind end, and to be able to back her off when I say it. So now I'm just starting to get control of her feet. It's kind of going into her head now that maybe able to control her feet. And every now and again, I'm getting quite a nice loose back up, but then she sticks because she's so used to that. But she wasn't rearing. I didn't see it again. I felt like that was sort of gone between us now. And it's only because I'm doing that backing up and getting control of her hindquarters that she's not rearing. So that's really evident now, no matter what's happening, she's not, she's not considering rearing. That was a real step in the right direction. This next little clip now, I had to own what uh, pace she goes at. She thought, if I asked her to go around me, she's trying. Now it's important that she follows my speed of things. So here, you'll see me make my idea of the speed I wanted to, to, uh, to go at, her idea. She decided in the end to go at the speed I wanted her to go, which was walk, not trot. So this is a good little clip now, how I just set it up and kept setting it up for her to find the answer. And, and when she found the answer, she has a break. It's all explained here anyway. But it's a real good, it could, if it can go into your head, boom. Oh, you set it up and wait for them to find the answer rather than try and force the answer, you see? Right now, she's kept her feet still. Now, go around me. She'll control where she comes, right? So now, now, all right? So now, you've got to try, there's the disengagement. Now, stop. It's these little breaks where they learn. It's not all that kerfuffle. Yeah. It's look, lift and chew. Yeah. Now I'll show her again. Drop her head a little bit. It'll come down quicker now. Oh, I, I just they look, said that. They look great in, in 
the Western Gear. Charlotte wouldn't agree, but... <laughs> uh, so, the fact that... Did you notice a couple of... Right, I requested one foot then. Did you all miss that? So, no, a tiny yeah. bit. That's because she wanted. She's starting to want me a little bit more. Um, because she knows I, I can control her now. That makes sense, yeah? yeah. Right. She knows I'm starting to get control of her feet. Well, as soon as a horse knows that, then you take all the worry out of it for her. Yeah. You've proved you, you. That's the way they work. Whoever can control other horses' feet in space, the ones that are. the ones that do the controlling. And they don't have to worry about that part. So, um, okay, so now we'll see if we can get it to walk around. My price to go up to £5.50 now, Steve. I think you need to act quick. Go off. Uh, excuse me, if that's how much you're selling, if <laughs> so. So, go now we're getting. Now, it was really important that when that kerfuffle started, that I stayed in the store. If the storm begins like that, August, and we get out of that storm, in other words, we, we quit, which most of us would. I used to. Oh, shit, you know what's going on? That's where nothing gets done, actually, it's worse. So I stayed with this until I had my goal of calmness and asking me to, and, and doing it without kerfuffle. So I kept with this until now I'm starting to get a little bit of a different attitude. She's a bit calmer. That's much better, that feels better. Now she has to have these little brakes. Yeah. They have to have the brakes when they do the right thing. Because yeah. if not, that's all, all she wants really, is to feel safe with someone who can lead her yeah. and can prove to her that we can control them feet. And our space is everything. If, she, and it's natural to a lot of us, especially this one, she searches with you, she is searching with you 50 times on there. Can I do that with her? Can I push her here? Can I pull her along a bit? So the fact that you're allowing it, but you don't know what to do, so it's not your fault, but the fact that you allow that, she naturally has no respect for you. And that's hard to take. Did you, did, did, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's everything's based. Now what's she just done with one foot there? We didn't see She's it, yeah. i show you what I mean. She's trying me. She said, well, I'm pretty sure you can control me, but Right? So I'm on that. I'm on that. This is where you've got to be with it at first, you know? So, okay, so now I'm going to... So, everything's going really, really well at the moment. And I know that the girls will be leading this horse out when I'm gone. And I know I wear off, you know, I'm going to wear off pretty quickly unless they carry on doing some things. So I'm going to stop a few times here and I exaggerate my stops. Because I know that horse is stopping. If I just even just stop with my shoulders back a little bit, my head up a little bit, that horse is starting to stop for me uh, perfectly. So I exaggerate a few stops now, which helps people a little bit at the start of it. So that's why I do these these stops to try and you know make a make that horse really notice, so that um, the 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 handlers can do that when I'm gone. It's to sort of so to have to have some kind of effect. Um, so that's the, what this is now. For myself, I want high caution, a little bit more. I'm going to walk out of it and I'm going to stop myself. I don't want you walking through me. Okay? So I'm going to keep this real simple. You will have to ultimately do this yourself. So, little nice little exercise, long and tense. She came back to, she came to me a couple of paces, so I just backed her up a couple. In a minute, she'll start, she'll start immediately. Right? So, pretty, pretty good. That wasn't bad. Now I'm going to go on the other. Now I'm going to disengage her there. I'm going to come this way. She doesn't like being led. You see what I mean about not being, she wanted to be led this side. Yeah. Right? Natural, because that's the way we... We, we naturally do everything the other side, don't we? Tap she them. normally, she wouldn't even do that with me. She would just pull. <clears throat> what? She would just pull me around. In here? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're getting somewhere then, yeah? Very much.
much so. Right, so that's one, two, three. Right, now then, because she immediately stopped, didn't even look at her. Or, uh, stop. Right, now I feel like we really get somewhere now. So again, very boring, we have to leave her for a minute. Yeah. That was quite nice, that wasn't it? Quite respectful. Test. I might get knocked out of the way. I don't know. Right? I'm going to stand by the wall and I'm going to try not to move my spot. My spot is my spot. And I will send it through me both ways. And a lot of horses don't like the claustrophobic nest, so they're willing to smash a person down. Which I would have asked you to do that a minute ago, but you would have gone like You with what I'm saying? So I can yeah. test. How she feels about me and my space. Yeah. Make sense? I'm trying to explain it as simple as I can. So there's a knife. That's looking good. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So I'm going to pick a spot. I'm going to start about here. Right? I'm going to start about there. And try not to move. And send it through there and close up. Now, if she does encroach on me, she will run into my hands. She runs into me, if that makes any sense. All right. uh, okay. So I'm going to set this up now. I want forward motion. And as soon as she goes forward there, that's quite good. Now, there's my high quarters that I worked on. She needs to go here. She needs to realize now. She needs to adjust for me, else she's going to knock me down, isn't she? Yeah. You with me? Yeah. So this is where I might have her on. Well, how about that? There's my, there's my disengagement. Lovely. There's my disengagement. A little bit close there. I need her to, to give me my space. There. There's my disengagement. Now, did you just see that? Yeah. She gave me. Now, we'll leave her for a minute. Now there's, right, there's nothing there, look. There's nothing. I'm pushing that back hard, look. There's, so there's no connection to the feet. So now I've got to try and stay. If I let that go now, that will show her exactly she should stay there. Yeah. So there can be no release now. So I'm going to start rocking this and keep rocking. And release. And I work with this for two seconds now. This should be, if I do that, that means something to my horses. Yeah. That means something. Oh, you know, and it could do to her. If we never release, unless it's up. She came from Ireland, you see, originally. Well, again, I've worked with a lot of Irish horses. And the woman it's who had kind her. of a conveyor belt, isn't it? And the woman who had her uh, basically didn't do anything with her because she was too boisterous. So, yeah, I think. Right. Did you find so that out after? I'm gonna. Yeah. Well, yeah. Peter said, oh, "I've done all the schooling now and everything's fine." So. Yeah. So same thing again. Now I'm gonna ask first. I'm gonna increase, then I'm gonna rock. I'm gonna do this three or four times now because I want it. She has to finish on an understanding of lightness with at least one foot, yeah. all right? All right, so, and her head's up in the air, eventually you'd want that beginning for backing up, so they're not hollowed out, lots of things really bright. So, ask first, nicely, no, and I'm gonna rock them and, 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 and release with that. Ask nicely, no, and release with that. Ask nicely, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, there's gotta be something in it for her. You know what I mean? Like, she's like, oh, we're getting this. Okay, so again, last time. She wants to go with you, that's what it is. Right, it's getting lighter. So now, uh, just before I get back to that, now you say this is building now. She's mm -hmm. starting to think, so she's starting to think, oh, this is all right. I'm going to be okay. Because he's, you know, I've been firm with her. But I'm showing her my space is everything. Yeah. And if she now came into me, Oh, I'd get useful. Mm. I'd show her that was not a good idea. 
but now and again she might try that with me because yeah. they search. Say, well, maybe you just weren't, you know, you're getting softer on me now. I need to take over now. That's what happens. And that's right? what she does with me at the right. Yeah. yeah. No, I didn't ask for forward motion then. I didn't suggest it. No. Now, you see what I mean about the high quarter control? Yeah. Now? I've built that in. Lovely. Quite stiff on that side. Now, I'm not, I've moved right in now. Mm. Hind quarter, not that way. Now then. Yes. That's it. So, I won't just lead her now out to the field where all the nightmare in the rearing is. I'll do it in stages. So, she needs to know outside here is no different than in here. Do you want to do it with just the gate open first? Well, maybe, yeah. So I'm just about to go outside now. Um, and unfortunately, I haven't got, got it here just to show you. I don't know what happened there with the clips. But she, as soon as they opened the gate, she sort of pushed through me a little bit. She got up a little bit. We're going out. And, and things were not, not falling apart. But I, ha I could tell she was getting ready to, she wanted to go, to go out. And that was it. So I had to make it quite clear that... Now the gate's open. Now we're going out. She knew we were going out. Everyone was starting to move out of the way and blah, blah, blah. I had to make sure right there and then that we're moving outside, but there is no difference to the way she has to um, be around me and how she has to listen. So it's a great opportunity for me to, to, to get that cleared up between us before we went out. So that's why I bumped down on her a few times and said, listen, I hope there is no different than in here. Uh, same with riding really, should be no difference out of an arena when we go out, but it always is because we don't do the things I'm showing you here. So yeah, that's why I'm a little bit firmer here, ready for going out to where all the nightmare was before. So we're gonna go probably halfway out of here yeah. and then I'm gonna back her up again. Where she thinks she's going. in the arena what I'd built there is starting to carry over to outside things are going good lead her like we normally do a horse for now yeah. you cannot because if you do she'll start leading you yeah. you'll lose everything straight away because without us realizing it if I lead her here yeah. she'll be, she'll be, you hold her there I'm just gonna get she'll past. be encroaching on me constantly I won't even know it but she'll know it yeah? so we lead
So you're better off in some ways than that, are we? Leading her at, at, at a distance. Dad, this lady just wants to walk past. Always in the way you are. No. <laughs> Are you coming back this way, Dad? Yeah. I, you know, I, I wanted to do a bit of performing now, so I can get over something. Yeah. If she doesn't, I'll take it. Try going round the corner. Yeah, we're going to get up there. <laughs> <laughs> No, this, okay, this is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, this hey. is where she reared. Excuse me. Tell me where. Uh, if you that's go around the, corner, that's that's around the corner, she knows then where she's going, and that's when we tend to get a little bit excited. Well, it, it's, it, it's not unreasonable to ask her to leave where the hell we want to leave, is it? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Some people might say, oh, oh put her away now. The whole day we should be able to do this. We'll look after so way. for quite, quite a while here, I've been leading, leading her around you know, down the tracks where the problems were, but there was one place there where apparently most of the really bad behavior is. So, you know, I, I was fine with that, to keep doing that. I want, if something was gonna turn up, it's gonna turn up. So I was really pleased, you know, I didn't mind where, I had to keep trying things. That was good to know where the worst areas were. So that's what we're doing now, challenging the horse. I'm not holding the horse tight, saying, well, what, you know, do what you think you should now after all that groundwork, and things are good. Right then, where do you want me to go? Just go around the corner. Watch her, Charlotte. Watch <laughs> her. <laughs> That's right, wait till you've got my little bit and I'll bounce it. with her. So this is the worst place here. Yeah, I'm going to do that now half a dozen times, okay?
I went, I went across the floor like that and I was so going. Shut up. No, yeah. my, both my feet were like that. She looked like one of those church bell Oh my God, I wish we had that on video. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear some of, the, some of the things they were saying? They've had some real problems with this mare, like grass skiing and all. I mean, it's been rearing. Oh, it's been dreadful. Um, what a nice sight to see this horse leading nicely with a good attitude. I mean, they were, I can you imagine how they were feeling, really? <laughs> we were down there and saw what was I've going been on. I've trying in a way to get it to stop, yeah. so I could show you how I deal with that. Yeah. She's not, and I can't make it happen. I don't want to <laughs> make it happen, but if it's Never ever make a horse stand still. Never do it. You will never make a horse stand still. You've got to make it their idea to stand still. So if she kept moving now, I would put it to good use. I would move her hind end, I would back her up, I would do a, and then give her a chance. So you make it, the, the only way they will ever stand is if you make it their idea to stand. So I never waste any movement. The worst thing is when they know we're trying to keep them still. That's it, you're over with. They just keep on moving. But if you put it to some use, yeah. okay. whether you can or not is, a, you know, like I said, we're going to do our best, mm. you know, um, that's nice. So what we need to do now, we need to go and put her away for about 10 minutes. Okay. Just let her chill in the sun. So now to the hardest bit of the whole thing. Every time, the hardest bit for me is handing the lead rope over to the owner or handlers or whoever after I've done my bit. Because you've got to remember the support I'm giving that horse and you know that that horse knows who's holding it i mean they're not they know everything so that's the hardest bit so we all decide we all talked about things and her owner was quite nervous about messing up what i'd done very nervous and i said to her look you know i will be coming back and the the other hand the the girl that had been helping her was very confident and i said the best thing really to end on a good note with this horse today to stop you worrying is get the other girl to do it. She was dead keen and uh, had done a little bit of horsemanship herself. So we all decided that. So it's, this isn't the owner uh, leading the horse out now. It is the other the other girl. Uh, so you'll see that now. She does a couple of little things and then she leads the horse out and you'll see that filmed. Uh, uh, do you want me to take them? I don't mind taking them out there. They're sure. all gone now, yeah. Right. So I just don't, I'm I not going to hold her anymore. I want you to hold that and I want you to look. Remember something, right? You've got to come up and down, yeah. right? But it, as soon as them feet go back, so look at the feet and, and make yourself big and get them back to the places. Okay. So now, yeah. Go on, then. Go on, then. Back. Don't say anything. Back. One more. Pass it. Done. Done. Immediately done. Right, Now go and lower her head. I want you to stand here. Give her a little rub. No pats. Right. A little bit of pressure down on there and release immediately. She goes down, hold a little bit, right? You've got to wait till she gives you. Yes, and again. You hold it and release when she drops down. Right, and again. Yes, again. that's what I meant by a release. But she took oh, it away from you, right? Sorry. So, and again. <laughs> little, little bit of pressure on the neck and then release. Neck too. So, okay. can, I just, can I just tell you something what you've just done? Just so you know, you just put a bit of pressure and yeah. you released. When Before she did nothing. So you're teaching her to say no. Right, okay, yeah. But just wait till she kisses you. Think about it. Right. Rock your hand a little. There! Yeah. Good release. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Right. Completely. So don't hold her here, else you're finished. Right. Okay. All right? So. Uh, now, halfway down here, I want you to stop, stamp, oh stamp your foot, and back her up two paces.
I'm very vocal too, it's hard. How well did she do? I felt so good after that. I, the first couple of times that handler stopped, jiggled the, rope, jiggled the lead rope and that horse responded to her. It was wonderful. I had a real um, optimistic uh, uh, outlook to the whole thing then. So I'd gone from, you know, really not knowing where this was gonna end up. I was optimistic and that, that horse led beautifully all the way up the tracks about a quarter of a mile they got that track and every time she stopped the horse stopped and every time it went one or two steps more forward than it should she recognized it she jiggled the rope in the end she was only lifting the rope up and those feet were going back absolutely brilliant and there was a different demeanor to the horse when they let but you know i i, um, I haven't got on film it's a pity but um when they put that horse in the field took the lead rope off they said i said how lovely you know everything was just a little bit better and nicer and more sedately sedate about the whole thing. So that was that. Great way to end. Um, a great note to end on. And I was wondering, because I'd been so busy, I was wondering how things were going. Uh, and funny enough, I was thinking about messaging uh, and I had these couple of clips come through from, from the horse's owner. Uh, so have a little look at this. There's no sound on them because the wind noise was terrible. Uh, too bad to have sound on it, so I deleted the sound off. Finally. Oh. <laughs> right, now stop. Yeah. So, what a roller coaster all of that was. Lo loads of learning in that one, definitely. I mean, I'll just look through the, this footage, obviously, before I do, do this, but great video, really great video. I can't wait to watch it myself again. <laughs> but no. Uh, just as I was leaving, uh, this is a great, great thing to tell you now. Uh, there was a rescue um, mare that I went to that particular place for. That is on video. You can find it on the on the on the site. Um, a, a really, really heartwarming story about it, which is on the video. So I won't go into that. But basically, it was a rescue. It was rescued um, near death door, really, and you'll see. Picture, I'll put a picture of it now of when it was rescued and what it's like today. Well, we're just leaving, we're on our way home, and I was pretty tired, but we're going down the track, and there's this rescue mare that I I helped. It was it was real lost, the horse was, it wouldn't take a bridle and it it was barging, it had broke a few people's ribs because it was so worried about everything. I mean it was a hell of a hell of a story really, but fair play. To the to the people who rescued it, and the rider that's riding it. So I'm on the way. Out. I'm on the way out, and it's coming the other way. Not planned at all. It was just, and it was it was this lunar, this uh, rescue man. So I'd had, the, you know, the day there doing horses, and then I'm on my way home, and there's this other horse that I'd actually. It was so bad I had to have it in my my home for a week. So yeah, great. Have a look at this. What a great sight, guys, just leaving the job. And there's Luna, Luna the rescue mare there. Oh, wow, what a great, what a great picture that is. Well done, <laughs> fantastic. So that's the end of that. Um, I've just looked outside now. It was peeing our rain, it's all right now. So I'm gonna sort the horses out now. And I'm hungry, and Tanya just said she's done uh, chicken wings and ribs. 
and would is that sound all right well i hope to tell you what i'm looking forward to them so yeah um end of that uh next week i've got in fact i've got so much con content i've been to a lot of horses lately a lot of really difficult ones and uh so there's some good ones to come some great great videos i think to come uh with some loadings there's some riding issue ones as well so yeah keep them coming the the um it really helps me again with with especially with videos like this um if you can you mean if you can share them um like and comment we, we check all the comments we sometimes don't have time to reply to them but we do we sit there every night and we and we, we really appreciate the comments and all all the positivity that's there still so i'll keep banging on about that but more importantly if you can share guys it gets it gets things going really well for me and uh, it keeps me going so yeah i'll uh, catch you next time on the next episode i don't know exactly which one it will be but definitely looking forward to doing a lot of people have said about the horses in my life and when tanya had put the photos of the horses up in the bar that we've made um a lot of people have said I'd li they'd like to know more about the horses so i am going to do it. i'll do one maybe not next week the week after i'll pick one of the horses out do a little little video on it i've got lots of um pictures and little videos of those horses but they've all come with a story obviously because i ended up with them they all come with a story there's some great little stories so i'll do one and see what kind of um you know how that's received and if people love looking at that and how i got got them sorted then I'll do more because I've, I've had lots of horses. So yeah, catch you next time. Great stuff. Ta-da.